Good day. We welcome participants of the conference and we are glad to present our keynote. Our presentation devoted to the machine learning methods application for consumer banking. Machine learning is effective tools for analysis topical issues in modern banking. Increasing growth of data and rapid digitalization underpins the acceleration of machine learning in banking. In general, we can say that past decade digitalization has altered much of the processes in banks. It's concerned risk management, it's concerned customer relation management, information security, cyber risk, and so other. The role and possibilities of machine learning tools is very and very increased in banking. It's concerned to regression different types, phase clustering, of course, a neural network and others. What's the reason for this? The basic reason that now customer of bank can be present by hundreds parameters for million customers. Average bank involves now more and more customers, millions of customers, and each, para, each uh, customer can be estimated by very many parameters. We focus our research to the loan granting sphere of consumer banking. Now it's very and very essentially, essentially grows, especially in the sphere of the so-called neo bank. So, first of all, we want to present how it's possible to develop different things in the scoring uh, approaches, which one of the most popular is the machine learning. We want to present some generalization of this. When we consider application of credit uh, scoring, we can find very many different directions for development. Marketing scoring, lead generation scoring, fraud scoring, application scoring, behavioral scoring, and collection scoring. But we want to generalize such approach by including concept of survival. This will suppose to add T parameter, time parameter to the scoring weights. Our presentation now presents this dynamic credit scoring model and here is probability that the I customer borrower will be good. What does it mean good? Does it mean good can be applied for any type of scoring which we uh, have presented now? And the basic difference that we can consider estimation of weights A0 and 1 and so on by the parameter time. So this is example. This is example of application to the uh, some approach of classical classical um, credit relationship and you can see that a difference by different quarter different quarters it's maybe decreasing it's maybe increasing uh, in this and we find 
that such approach more accurately estimate estimate borrower. Next, our machine learning example. This is application neural network technologies in debt portfolio management. This is very important because now banks uh, involve very many borrowers which do not pay and this is a increase in debt portfolios. So the logic is estimate borrower by collection scoring for what for the for what need for collecting strategies for optimizing collecting strategies and we have created such um, logic for a and n applying scheme by the data which based on the types how these borrowers pay for debt Here you can see basic factors, which very important in this. This is principal debt and interest divided to monthly payment. Principal debt is debt as absolute value and so on. From our point of view, the scheme of applying machine learning technology provides very good, very uh, good strategy strategy optimization of working with such debtors. Another machine learning approach which we elaborated, this is clustering. Clustering of banks borrowers is very, very and very useful to create strategy for different clusters. But we point out some very interesting effect which is raised from development different online instruments by bank and this is this based on the including our payments for some borrowers. And we divided these borrowers for four categories. First category, this is A, borrowers, borrowers which high overpayments. What does it mean, overpayments? It may be interest, it may be different pennies, and uh, this is different penalties. When some borrowers using this credit card, as example, very intensively, it's indication of overpayments. Other borrowers B, which pay accurately and timely. C, there are some payments, but full amount of loan was not paid. And very bad borrowers D, this is FPD, first payment default, and so there is no payment. In general, this is maybe some modification of whale car by this approach, and we proposed this, this differentiation of borrowers by this picture where from 1x clients ordering by profits and cumulative income by the vertical axis and you can see that uh, borrowers of our types can be can be uh, pictured on this car for very very uh, nice and very nice uh, uh, presentation. We uh, have applied procedures of classical and fuzzy clustering, one of the uh, important tools of machine learning. We have chosen for this analysis three indicators, score of credit bureau, amount of loans which borrower was granted, and level of overpayment. What is the economic logic of this? The basic logic is to correspond some credit strategy for each cluster. But many borrowers have some characteristics which can be indicated to some cluster and to the another cluster, but different of membership 
function and fuzzy clustering solves this problem and allow to construct more adaptive strategies. You can see an uh, application of uh, our clustering approach by the classical approach and by the fuzzy approach. And fuzzy approach uh, can provide some more exactly approaches to these customers. If in classical way this is three clusters, but in the fuzzy approach this is seven, seven strategies. We think this is more effective economic decisions. So the ongoing development of data mining in, in modern banking provides good basis for new application of machine learning and one of the result of this of adaptive economic decisions. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.